I'm Brian Reese, editor of Ticket. And I'm Wade Tatangelo, head writer of Ticket. And we're going to be talking about this weekend and what's going on. So summer's here, it's hot, and it's the perfect time to go to a movie. And not, sure. only, not only do we have all the blockbusters out, you mm -hmm. got Jurassic World opening, San Andreas, but we've got a new film festival. Another one. Another one. These gentlemen uh, started with the Gasparilla Film Festival. They've got some background that, Tampa, which sure. has been taken off in Tampa. Of course, uh, we have the Sarasota Film Festival and Cinewood Film Festival in Sarasota. Fabulous now, Independent Film Festival. Fabulous, yes. <laughs> we do have a lot of film yeah, festivals. Yeah, Movieville, does that still exist? This is taking the place, well, we shouldn't say taking the place, sure. but really it is taking the place of Movieville. So it's Skyway Film Festival. Uh -huh. I like the name. Yeah. It's at the Manti Performing Arts Center, which uh, used to be, well, it's best known for housing the Manti players. How many films do they have? They've got... 50, about 50, sure. and that includes the, the shorts, the documentaries, the narratives. The opening night film is about Walt Disney, it's called Walt Before Mickey, and it's a new film, I'm excited about that. But what I'm really excited about, and there's also a local film, Paradise FL, that actually also screened at the Sarasota Film yep, Festival. I remember. And that's it was shot in Cortez, and in Sarasota, and some other Mancy locations. But you know what I'm really excited about? What? Is Blair Witch Project, which I saw in 1999, the weekend it came out, at a packed 1,700 people at the Tampa Theater. And it was just nervous energy and screams. Sure. Loved it. And it was the first film primarily marketed by the internet. Didn't realize growing up in Tampa at the time that the co-writer, co-director, co-editor, co-mastermind of this found footage horror genre. Co, co because there were basically only two guys involved. <laughs> basically, yes. Yeah. He's from Sarasota. He's, oh, wow. I thought, that's, I thought maybe you knew him. He graduated from Riverview. He grew up on Longboat. His name's Dan Merrick. So he's, he's going to be here, isn't he? He's going to be at the screening. Great. And uh, for our cover story, I interviewed uh, the executive director and the artistic director, and they're going to be moderating a Q&A with Dan after the screening. So I, I have tickets. I'm excited. Fantastic. Well, if you're not interested in films this weekend, there are other things going on. If you want to drive up to Tampa, Metrocon starts on Thursday. That's fun. Yeah, Metrocon is one of the biggest anime conventions in the States. You're going to see a ton of people dressed in amazing costumes or not amazing costumes. Can you go there if you're not wearing a costume? I don't you, own a lot of costumes. You can definitely go there, although I could lend you an anime costume if you want. I don't know. If Sailor Moon, do you think? It might have to wear your sons. Yeah, I think <laughs> that might fit better. You might actually be bigger than you, too. Um, but that's going on in Tampa this weekend. Then there's also Flag Day on Sunday, and there's a big thing on Sunday evening out at Patriot Plaza at the National Cemetery with music and speakers. It's going to be a, it's going to be a great little uh, show out there. And then there's a few other things going on. There's Can I a give a shout out? Great comedian at McCurdy's. Oh yeah, Same. Lachlan Peterson. Very good. Last stand, uh, last comic standing. Uh -huh. And then if you're up for a road trip, last weekend my recommended road trip was a girls' night out, New Kids on the Block. If you're of my generation, you grew up with New Kids on the Block. This weekend, the Rolling Stones only Florida stop. It's Friday. It's at the Orlando Citrus Bowl. Gabby, who you might remember worked here, she's covering it for her, her new paper in Orlando. She tweeted that to me and I'm very upset. I covered the Stones in 2005. They put on a great show. Just found out my parents, they have tickets. They live right in St. Pete. My dad sure. took my mom instead of me. That's sweet. Yeah, I'm not happy. So if you were up for a road trip, there's still some tickets left to that. And well, if you go to Orlando, check out Brian, Google it, his Orlando guy. A few weeks ago, we wrote about a bunch of new attractions in Orlando at the iDrive uh, complex. You've got the giant uh, Orlando I. That Nick walked. That Orlando. Nick Orlando walked for about six and a half seconds <laughs> uh, when it opened in May. You've also got uh, Madame Tussauds, so if you'd like to go look at people who look very pasty and almost alive, but not really, um, like many celebrities, uh, you'll find them there at Madame Tussauds. Kind of like Tussauds. the Rolling Stones? Sure, just like the Rolling Stones, actually. In fact, I suspect that the wax models might look more lifelike than they do. Uh, then you've also got um, an amazing exhibit, which is the Skeleton Museum, which has skeletons from hundreds of different animals, even like fake animals, like centaurs and things like that. That's a lot of fun. And that's all in one place there. So you can check that out at TicketSarasota.com if you're going to go see the Stones. Or even if you just want to go. And if you want local music, check out the Gamble Creek Band with Kim Betts as the lead singer. They're playing at Joyland on Saturday. And there's big more... Venue. Yeah, big venue. It's their first time 
playing there. Usually it's just national acts that play there. So this is a local act. It's built a following. They're playing there. I'm excited for her. She's got a great band and she's got a famous father named Dickie Betts. But That's she's right. doing this on her own and uh, it's good old country music. Anything else? No, I mean there's plenty more. So if you want to find Lots. more, you can go to TicketSarasota.com or check out tomorrow's ticket. And in any case, have a great weekend. Have fun. Go see a movie. Or do something else fun. Yeah. <laughs>